No one would ever suspect that this mild-mannered senator from Lawton is leading a double life. On the one hand, he's a husband, a father of three and grandfather of four, and he's all over the state capitol, championing the interests of his southwestern Oklahoma constituents. On the other hand, he's a celebrity in a land far away, where the name Randy Bass is spoken with reverence in whispered tones of admiration. Unbeknownst even to some of his colleagues in the Oklahoma State Senate, Randy Bass enjoys star status in Japan, where he holds all kinds of legendary baseball records. But the Randy Bass baseball story starts here in the States, with a full decade in the majors, before he was sold for $25,000 to the Hanshin Tigers of Japan, a team with a reputation for having the most fanatical and dedicated fans in all of Japanese professional baseball. In 1985, we won the championship uh, for the Hanshin Tigers, the first time they've ever won in the history of uh, Hanshin Tigers baseball. So uh, I had a great year. I was a Triple Crown winner, uh, first year as a Triple Crown winner. Uh, I hit uh, 47 home runs, and, uh, you know, I just kind of led the team in everything, you know. Uh, I think I hit home runs in seven consecutive games, uh, most RBIs, most game-winning RBIs. It was just a tremendous year for me. I mean, and then after 1985, it was, I mean, you couldn't walk down the street, I mean, without people wanting to shake your hand or get an autograph, or you couldn't ride the subway anymore because people waited for you to get on the subway train just so they could come over and very politely talk to you or shake your hand. But an incident that happened during the celebration following the championship game is now part of Japanese baseball lore. They have a tradition of going out to Osaka River and uh, they put on the uniform jersey of uh, one of the players on the team and they go on the bridge and they jump off into the river. So, uh, of course, they had Mayumi, Kakifu, Okada, all the Japanese guys and it got to me. None of the Japanese fans really looked much like Randy Bass, so they put Randy's jersey on a statue of this guy and chunked it into the river. Tigers have never won, have never won since then. They've never won the whole Nippon series since 1985. So they call it the curse of the Colonel Sanders. The curse has become such a staple of franchise lore that fans have repeatedly made unsuccessful expeditions to find the statue. Finally, in 2009, nearly 25 years later, the statue was successfully found and brought to the surface. And then they put the, the statue on a, a, a trailer, actually, and took it to the stadium, and the Tigers won the game. So they think the curse of the Colonel is over with now. But Japan's fascination with the first baseman from Lawton is far from over. Randy Bass is astonished to find that his celebrity status is still intact. Whenever I get there, everybody bows and says hello, and you know they talk to you in a, in a manner you're not used to. And when I come back to Oklahoma, I'm just Randy Bass. That's Senator Bass to you and me, a baseball legend in our midst, who should claim his rightful position among Oklahoma's lengthy roster of celebrated baseball players. At the state capitol, I'm Shell Wagner.